hundreds of stores like this. It feels weird, right? Yeah, it feels weird. <laughs> I feel like I'm stealing. Yeah. And they don't have a cashier. <laughs> because here, new technologies are embedded into just about every part of the process. First, there's Amazon Go. It's a convenience store which is completely unmanned. To enter, you have to use an app and scan these turnstiles. And then when you're ready to leave, it automatically knows what you picked up and it charges your account. So no matter what you grab while you're in the store and whatever you put back, it just knows. And it's only when you exit that you're actually charged for what you bought. There are about 30 Amazon Go's right now in New York, San Francisco, Chicago, and Seattle, but there could be hundreds of them soon. Then there's the Amazon grocery store concept called Amazon Fresh. This is crazy because every time you put something into your cart or even take it out, the technology is able to capture it in real time. I am pretty impressed. I'm not actually gonna buy this though. Yeah, see, thank you. So by the end, you can just walk on this flooring and you're automatically charged for your groceries. I guess I'm done. I kind of feel like I'm just stealing everything because I didn't have to go to a counter. Amazon Fresh is aggressively opening around the US with plans to eventually have 1,000 of these stores. And in both of these video tours, I saw a ton of comments of people freaking out saying, OMG, Amazon is going to kill jobs and replace everything with robots. So so it made me curious, is Amazon actually killing jobs? For more than five years, critics have called Amazon out for saying that it's killing American jobs. But if we look at some of the numbers, well, technically Amazon has created more jobs every year. Four years ago, Amazon had about half a million workers. Today, it has more than one million employees. But of course, that's just Amazon's own jobs. What about those jobs that used to exist at, say, a mom and pop store that's now out of business? Or department stores we used to rely on before Amazon? Well, let's start with its warehouses. Amazon has made it no secret that it wants to reduce labor costs and boost automation to save costs. Amazon has hundreds of thousands of robots working alongside humans in its warehouses. So even though automation has certainly taken away jobs, Amazon is just growing so fast that it still hires at a very rapid rate. In 2018, a report by Morgan Stanley found that cities with Amazon fulfillment centers actually saw job creation well above the national average. It said that Amazon is a job creator and a catalyst for stronger job growth. But that was before Amazon was rolling out 1,000 grocery stores like this one. And what about Whole Foods, which is owned by Amazon? What happens if Amazon implements this kind of technology that can eliminate cashiers? It can effectively reduce human labor costs. But if capitalism is based on maximizing profits and minimizing costs, where exactly does human jobs fit into the equation? Oh my god. Get this. A hundred years ago, 30% of American jobs were in farming. Today, it's about 1%. And yet, tens of millions of new jobs were created. So my question is this. Should we really be worried about Amazon or any technology for that matter taking away our jobs? Our society and economy has always seemed to find a way. In fact, by some jobs becoming obsolete, that's actually allowed our society to advance more. But let me know your thoughts. Is this time different? While you're at it, get inside my tours of Amazon Go and Amazon Fresh.